We are preparing to launch a new firmware update for our body-based 3D printers, including the Mark IVs, XL and Core 1. And we decided to share this short developer diary to give you a little sneak peek of the new functionality and collect your initial feedback. In the past, we introduced the Input Shaper, Pressure Advance and Face Stepping technologies via software updates. But one of the most convenient improvements in terms of user experience is the Cancel Object action. When you are printing multiple objects and one of them becomes loose, you can easily tell the printer to skip this object and continue printing. This is possible because the printer operates based on a very simple set of instructions, called a G-code. For the upcoming update, we took the Cancel Object feature as a starting point and enhanced it even further. We are introducing the Regressive Extrusion technology to allow you to recover not only from print failures, but also to recover lost filament. So, how does it work? It's actually incredibly simple. If a print error occurs during printing, you can press the Undo button anytime and the printer will simply walk backwards through the G-code. With pinpoint precision, it will retrace its steps while also melting the already deposited filament and retracting it back through the extruder. This is possible thanks to a vacuum effect created by the rapid spinning of the gearbox at 10,000 RPM. The heatsink then solidifies the melted plastic and reproduces the original filament strand using the polymer's memory effect. The AI-powered camera enables the USB-C-powered spool holder to rewind the spool to its original state. The camera's AI was trained on over 200,000 hours of video showing exactly how our filament spools are perfectly wound. The undo button does not work alone and requires the undo kit available in our shop. It features a motorized spool holder, a camera that ensures the perfect rewinding and also a large physical undo button for an enhanced tactile experience. Some side effects are still to be ironed out before we can release it. Pressing the undo button too many times may still result in slight overreactions, like the production of plastic pellets instead of recycled filament, brief moments of deja vu, temporal paradoxes and brief moments of deja vu. These insignificant anomalies are expected to be fixed in the upcoming weeks. Stay tuned for more updates and please do not touch the nozzle when the undo action is running.